Hey everyone. So today in this training video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your Google workspace email domain authentication. That's a mouthful. Basically what we're doing here is with these new updates that are happening in 2024, you need to have your domain authenticated from the places you send. And I know at least everyone I know is sending from a Google workspace account. So you need to authenticate there. So basically I'm going to walk you through how you can tell if you need to authenticate and then the steps to do this and super easy, you totally got this. So basically we're going to take it from going from looking like this to looking like this. Okay. So if we haven't met before, my name is Laura Comark. I'm a website tech integration specialist for women who love their work, but not their tech. I love setting up sales funnels and evergreen systems to help simplify the back end of your business and make life a lot easier so that we can do more of the things we love and less time on the back end of our business. So let's go ahead and dive into today's training. Okay, first off, let's check and you can see how to know if your G Suite domain email has already been authenticated or not. I have two sample emails of past emails that I had sent from my G Suite or Google Workspace account, and I will show you those now. So this is an email, this is back in October of 2023 before I had authenticated my hello at Laura Comark. So I can click on this little carrot dropdown and it'll show me in here, you can see right here where it's signed by, it has the G-A-P-P-S-S-M-T-P. That is telling me that it is still, Google is still authenticating this. Okay, so now let's go look at another email of what it looks like after authentication has taken place. So after authentication, when we do the drop down, you can see the sign by is my domain. And so that's how you can tell that it has been authenticated. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in to showing you how to authenticate your Google Workspace email. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to admin.google.com. You want to make sure to sign in to your admin account. So if you don't know what that is, it might take a couple of tries, but I'm going to go ahead and put in my password and log in. Okay. And so now once I'm in here, you can, there's two ways we can get there. One is over on the left-hand side. You can click on apps, Google workspace, Gmail, authenticate email, or you can do a search for DKIM and it'll bring up DKIM authentication, which is the same exact page. As we previously saw, I've already authenticated for my main domain, but I added one of my other domains so I can show you how we go in and authenticate. So you'll make sure you select your domain here. And we're going to click on generate new record and you can just go ahead and leave the defaults click on generate and then you will grab this record and our next step is we're going to go log into where our dns is so your dns that's your domain name so wherever you purchased your domain domain name through or where your domain dns lives sometimes like for example i have mine at Cloudflare, even though I purchased through Namecheap. But we're going to next go log into Cloudflare. And again, you'll log into wherever you need to log into. So wherever you need to log into based on where your DNS lives. Okay, so once I'm inside, I'm going to select the domain that I am setting this up for. And next, I'm going to click on DNS over on the left hand side. Next, we're going to add a new record. And this record type is a text record. And then your host name is back over in Google Admin. You can copy Command C on a Mac, Control C on a PC. And that is our name. And then we will grab this little piece of code starting at the V and ending at the end and paste that in here. And this did not change to text. So let's try that again. And that goes in content. Okay. And then next I am going to hit save. 
So the next thing you want to make sure you include is updating your SPF record. So in theory, you would always already have one, but there might be some cases where you don't. In this example, I don't already have an SPF record because this is not an email or a web address that I use for sending email. This is all brand new. So if you don't already have an SPF record, you would go to add. This is going to be a text record. And it would be at for root. And then the record would be V equals SPF one. And so then what you do in the SPF is you're basically, it's your sender policy framework and you're putting in place all the, the places you're sending from. So you wanna make sure you have include colon underscore spf.google.com. And then squiggly line that has a real name that I don't know, all. So that's just saying I'm sending emails from Google, which is your G Suite or Google Workspace account. Um, if you're also sending from Active Campaign, you would include Active Campaign in here. If you're also sending from anywhere else, you want to make sure it's all included in this one SPF record. So if you have other places you're sending, you go in and you update this record. So next we will save. And there it is. We're good to go. Cloudflare will update things very quickly. A lot of DNS um, hosts will take a little more time to for everything to propagate to show up. So it might take a little bit longer. But let's go back to our admin.google. And the most important piece of all of this is to make sure to click start authentication. And so this is actually saying we're good to go. It's all been updated. If not, if you're with a different, if you're not with Cloudflare, it might just tell you like, hey, it started, check back later. And that's it. Now when we send emails, um, the next thing you can do is go test it out. Send an email to someone who is not, send it to one of your other email addresses. Don't send it to yourself, but send it to another one of your email addresses and you can check it out. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.